21 years ago, Bob Marley won the last CONCACAF Champions Cup trophy in the United States. Well, not exactly. It was more thanks to this guy. Ezra Hendrickson from Leyu St. Vincent. Who will explain. It was January 21st, 2001 at the LA Coliseum. On this day, the 2000s CONCACAF Champions Cup was hosting the 36th edition of the International Club Football Competition between two of the most storied clubs in the Americas. The away team, Honduran powerhouse, CD Olympia, established in 1912. The Los Leones had won 32 domestic titles and two Champions Cup finals. At home, but clearly the underdog, having only been around five years at this point, as one of the founding members of Major League Soccer, the Los Angeles Galaxy. It was a great team. It's one of our great Los Angeles Galaxy teams from back in the day. Um, we had guys like Kobe Jones, Mauricio Cienfuegos, uh, even Alexi Lawless was on the team at that time. A strong team from front to back, but we felt good going into that game. It's Olympia that's in control of the game early. Los equipos alineando Olimpia exactamente igual que todos los equipos. The game is starting to get chippy as both sides clash, but Olympia continues to attack, leading to a costly mistake. Vamos a ver aquí, ahí está la manota de Lalas. Pena máxima y tarjeta amarilla para Alexi Lalas. Aquí viene Toselo, se mueve Harman, el remate de Toselo, gol. Gol de Olimpia. Despite the defensive mistake, the LA Galaxy settled in and our man from St. Vincent provided the answer. Went far post to Alexi Lalas, who headed it back across near post, and I was just able to jump over my guy and, and headed it in for the first goal. But before CD Olympia could settle back in, the other American legend on the pitch that day, you know his name did what he did best. Halftime, Olympia one, Galaxy two. After both clubs make their halftime adjustments, the second half is already starting off in the battle, with both teams playing physical. But the shrewd and experienced CD Olympia is ready to take advantage of that physical play. Two two in Los Angeles. It was late in the game. Um, the game had been tied. It was the second time being tied, you know, at one one, and then now it's two two. It's 85th minute, and I just thought, you know, just just go for it, you know, I just scored. It was good times, and I did my normal celebration, and I wish the crowd loud. When you scored, if you took your shirt off, there wasn't a yellow card. I think I don't think you can do that now. I think you get a yellow card these days, but back then, they let you take your shirt off and stuff, so whenever I scored, I would take it off or I would lift it over my head, and that's exactly what I did. You know? I always listen to Bob Marley music before games home before I came to the stadium and when I'm at the stadium I always you know had my headphones and just listen to some reggae mainly Bob because it just calmed me down and kind of put me in that zone you know where I was you know, focused um, culturally I'm from the Caribbean and reggae is, is one of our uh, music one of our genres uh, so you know Bob is someone that I listen to a lot and it's just a way of celebrating you know what he meant you know uh, to the Caribbean and to the world the LA Galaxy were CONCACAF club champions. 20 years later, this stands as the last time an MLS club has won the CONCACAF Champions Cup 